Primary night across the Commonwealth, and now the races are set for November. And one of the local races we've been watching was in the 16th Senate District, where challenger Joe Morrissey took on first-term incumbent Rosalind Dant. Our Brendan King joins us now with more on Morrissey's surprisingly easy win. Brendan? Yeah, all eyes on Virginia's 16th district tonight. Both of the candidates' watch parties were held in Petersburg tonight. And I can tell you the winner of this primary told me he put in many man hours into the city alone, and it brought him over the top 56 to 44 percent. So let's head inside. Joe Morsi's watch party happened behind me here at Plaza Mexico on South Crater Road. It was a celebration with hugs and pictures, Morsi's young family surrounding him there. And so he had spent most of his campaign promising his troubles from the past were behind him. And he certainly considered a a controversial figure in our area. He's a disbarred lawyer, former delegate, a former Richmond mayoral candidate. And Morsi says he won tonight because he campaigned hard in his opponent's backyard. Watch. I campaigned 139 out of 141 days. I was down here in Petersburg all the time. I was knocking on the doors. Reporters from out of state were following me. They saw what was going on. They saw cars stopping in the middle of the road, jumping out, taking selfies, people saying, Joe, we need you. And I was seeing that every night. And as for the incumbent, Senator Rosalind Dance, her watch party on Old West Street, well, she had a much more somber mood tonight. She has represented this district in the state Senate since 2014, and that includes portions of Richmond, Chesterfield, and the Tri-City. She has also served as a member of the House of Delegates and even at one point was the mayor of Petersburg. And Dance lost the vote in her own city tonight by 40%. Dance told me even with all these endorsements from Virginia's top Democratic leaders, this just wasn't her night. The people, they're my bosses. And so I got fired today. So, and that's not a good thing. Well, I'm, you know, I don't have a record of getting fired. If the majority of the people that you represent have a problem with you, then it's time to go. And I'm told voter turnout in Petersburg tonight topped more than 20% pushing Joe Morsi over the edge. And so far, no one else had uh, put their hat in the ring for this race. And so analysts tell us come November that the winner of tonight's primary most likely will become the state senator for this district. So it's a, certainly a big win for Joe Morsi. Working for you in Petersburg, I'm Brendan King, CBS 6 News.